Hello everyone, my name is Vape Chilla, and today I'm going to be trying something new for the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Valve's upcoming Steam Deck and why I'm so hyped for it. Now, if you live under a rock or you're just not into gaming, let me catch you up to speed. So around last week, Valve announced the upcoming Steam Deck, which is already available for pre-order. Now, if you look at this thing, you can already tell what market it's aiming at. Handhelds. Based off looks alone, it looks like a chunkier, much wider Nintendo Switch, but what sets it apart are the specs. They've teamed up with AMD and dropped in a custom Zen 2 chip, a simple quad core, eight thread CPU with RDNA 2 graphics. I'm not gonna pretend like I knew what I just said there, but for my research, that should be well enough to run most games at 720p. But babe, chill out. don't you mean 800p? The official screen size is 1280 by 800, but it is 720 native. Speaking of screens, they decided to go with a seven inch LCD touchscreen on this device. This size of screen at 720p, the graphics should look pretty good. Besides, at this resolution, the processor won't have to work that hard to get you a steady 60 FPS. Based on which model you go for, you get an option between SSD and eMMC storage. If you ask me, you gotta be seriously desperate to buy the 64 gig variant. Take for example my phone, it's 128 gigs and I've already taken up 44 gigs on it. All I've got on there are YouTube, Discord, Twitch, and a couple other games. About 100 photos and 20 gigs of hentai. All jokes aside, with 64 gigs you'll get like what, one or two games on there? It obviously depends on the games that you play. There is supposedly a micro SD card slot for expandable storage, which is absolutely awesome. Thank you, Valve. But I'd rather download my favorite games on the SSD for that faster load times and whatnot. I also have to commend Valve for including both USB Type-C and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Okay, I don't have a wireless headset. Please don't force me to buy one. While I'm praising Valve for all the good they've added to the Steam Deck, let me also mention that this device runs on Steam OS, which is actually a version or like a, a type of Arch Linux. I don't understand how it works, but it's Linux based. This essentially means that you could download download Windows 10 and run the device like that. I gotta love that it's open access and that they don't hard lock you into an OS. Remember how I mentioned it kind of looked like a Nintendo Switch? Well, guess what? This thing will eventually have a dock to go with it. I think you could bring the Steam Deck anywhere and bring the dock and your keyboard and your mouse and the monitor and play it like a regular PC. But at that point, why not just buy a gaming laptop, right? I don't know. I, I don't see myself bringing all that shit I just mentioned just to play somewhere else. The only way I see the dock viable is if you brought everything except a monitor to a friend's house, then ask the friend for a spare monitor to borrow, and then, yeah, like, if you really cared about playing in the same room as another person, then sure, that could work. Another way I see it viable is if you're going somewhere for a month, like vacation or something, and you want to bring your gaming setup, then and only then do I think it is worth bringing a monitor, you know? Like, I've got a 2013 PC case still. This thing is huge, and it is a pain in the ass to bring around. Why haven't I upgraded yet? I don't know. The, th the thing works, okay? So that brings me to this segment, what I'm hyped for and what I'm worried about. Or I suppose you could say, the pros and cons. Holy shit, dude, he said the thing! Oh my god, it's been so long! Mom, get the camera! Let's start off with the hypes. You see, I grew up with handhelds such as the Game Boy Advance, the Nintendo Lite, the Nintendo DSi, and even a PSP. There's just something about playing games wherever you are on a handheld device, which is both convenient and nostalgic. Done working for the day? Lay back on the couch and play a little Stardew Valley. Bored on your bus ride? Play a little Undertale to pass the time. Taking a fat dump on the toilet? Play a little Monster Hunter while you slay your own beast. Wait, actually scratch that. I really don't like Monster Hunter on controller. Keyboard and mouse it is. The point is, it's available to you everywhere. The next thing I'm excited for is the open access part of it. Theoretically, you won't just be locked to Steam games. With controller support, you could play games from Origin, Blizzard, or even Epic Game Store. I mean, free game's a free game, I guess. Also, you could download emulators so you could run your favorite legally acquired games like God of War and God of War 2 and that's all I've got for now, because I can't find the rest. But yeah, playing some of your favorite old school games is now totally possible at the palm of your hands again. So there's a few hypes, but I gotta admit, a lot of worries. First off, will the first batch of Steam Decks work as intended? I ask this because even though Nintendo has such a huge market share in handhelds and a ton of budget, 
From what I heard, their first batch of Switches weren't so good. In the past, when I've looked into buying a Switch, I've been told to go for the Switch V2 because apparently the first version of the Switch, there's something wrong with them. Will this be the case with the Steam Deck? We'll just have to wait and see. This next one's not a worry, but it's more like a disappointment because I found out this thing only runs on Wi-Fi. That's right, got shitty Wi-Fi at your local coffee shop? Well, too bad! You're gonna have to deal with it. I suppose you could just hotspot off your phone though. Also worry how accurate that two to eight hour claim of battery life will stand up. Personally, I don't mind two hours of gameplay on games like Cyberpunk and Forza. I'd rather play them on the PC anyways. I just worry they might've inflated those numbers a little. Personally, I'd be playing lighter games to relax, so I think I'd be reaching those eight hour marks. Now, Steam OS is gonna be interesting as well. With any OS, there will be updates every so often to keep everything running at maximum efficiency. Just how well is the included Windows to Linux compatibility layer going to work for non-Linux compatible games. It would really suck for me if I've been waiting a while to get my Steam Deck and I finally get it and turns out, boom, my favorite game can't be played. I just hope there's no issues there. And my last worry is how useful is that dock? Like I mentioned before, why not just buy a gaming laptop, right? Well, for the people that don't have the budget for a gaming laptop or prefer to go through the extra steps with a dock, will it actually be seamless? Hopefully no added display lag or input lag. One good point my friend Owl mentioned was that Switches are 30 FPS undocked. However, some games stay 30 FPS when they're docked. Now, if I understand how the Steam Deck runs, you know, it's all hardware based, no streaming, no cloud. Theoretically, if you docked into a high refresh rate monitor, say 144 Hertz or something, you should be able to go into the game settings and use the monitor to its max potential. Assuming you could pump out that much FPS at all. I mean, I do see a DPI port on their diagram. All these questions are just things we're gonna have to see over time. There's no knowing how this thing's gonna turn out until it releases and people start posting their experiences. Even though I do have a lot of worries of how this will turn out, there is one thing I'm extremely hyped about. Valve is popularizing handheld PCs, and there's a possibility we're gonna be seeing more and more of these systems show up. There's already a few out there right now, the GPD Win 3, the INEO, the GX Pro, to name a few. So to see a small competition will be great to see. Specs will get better, prices should get lower. We should see some really great products come out. Well, I hope you guys liked the video. I know it's definitely out of my style. Um, I was a little hesitant in making this because I'm not exactly tech savvy. However, I am passionate about gaming, so I decided to give it a shot. Let me know if you like this type of video. Maybe I'll try doing it again with another topic I'm passionate about. If you haven't joined the Discord yet, invite link is down below. I also stream on Twitch throughout the week. Link is also down below. Head over there and drop a follow so you can catch the next one. Did you guys like this video? Let me know in a comment down below. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you don't. Drop a sub if you're enjoying the content. Till next time.